What's going on everybody? The highly watched, highly supported, connected franchise wide receiver mode video is back and I'm finally toning down those white thunder biceps on J Canada. They were a little too big. I think we were all in agreement there so I toned those down. I went in to spend some whatever you call them in this game XP. <laughs> it changes in every game and I upgraded carrying just a little bit and consistency. I can't fumble. Fumbling is uh, unacceptable in my eyes as a wide receiver. So as you can tell, this is obviously post commentary. I got like uh, three games in one, not like uh, I do have three games in one starting off against the Falcons. So looking for um, another big game, hopefully. Obviously I dominated that matchup against Dallas. I, I, I realized that I actually averaged like 37 yards per catch or something like that. That could be close to a record. Like that's unreal. So here's a nice little spin move on that kick return. Uh, you'll see a lot of kick returns, a lot of punt returns in this game. Or not this game, but in this video. And as you can see, starting it off, Russell throwing it deep. And we can't rekindle that magic we found against the weak Dallas defense. As he gets picked off right off the bat. Not a good start. They go up 3-zip. And I'm back returning a kick. And, man, I really want to push these videos out more. These wide receiver videos. But uh, it's just hard. I do enjoy playing the game. But, uh... Oh my goodness, Russell, that was going actually to Marshawn Lynch. I accidentally paused the game after, but he took that back for pick six. So that's two INTs already, first quarter. And uh, as I was saying, I do enjoy playing the game. Uh, it's just, I don't know, there's other games I enjoy playing too. And then I always say, you know, I'm going to gonna put out this video. And I don't know, the wide receiver ones seem to fall on the wayside, which is weird because they're the most viewed videos on my channel. So thanks again for that. I'll try and have him out more and more. As uh, that last catch, I tiptoed the line, and now we get a ball deep. But it is from Russell Wilson to Doug Baldwin. So pushing downfield, here we are. Uh, again, he looks off me and hits uh, Zach Miller this time for the TD. So Russell shaking off those two early interceptions, one of which was a pick six. Not good. So uh, the NFL, what's happening currently in the NFL? Uh, as I get a nice stop and I slant it in there. Uh, the Seahawks won again. Uh, Russell was unspectacular in that game for sure against Oakland. But the defense finally woke up, causing turnovers, albeit against the rookie QB. Uh, Derek Carr? Yes, Derek Carr. And there I catch a TD. I did that again where I kind of just stood. And then as I called for the ball, I ran into a slant and it worked. A uh, nice celly there by me saluting. But yeah, the Seahawks defense started to create turnovers. Not the strongest of competitions, but... Anything will take anything. Uh, Richard Sherman, of course, getting on the board with an INT. That's good to see. He's been having a big year in uh, my connected franchise, as you guys have seen. As there is another catch, I shrug a tackler. So that's what's happening. I'm not sure if it's a carrying rating that's going up or just my elusiveness and stuff. That's helping me uh, break some more tackles as my preview window is lagging a bit. And here we're going in the corner of end zone. No. <laughs> Russell does not want to throw... The jump ball, eh, I mean, he kind of did, but they don't they don't ever lob the ball. Like, never. So he was able to pick it off, he being the man on the Falcons, not sure who it was. But there I catch a short yardage ball. And um, I show you guys almost, not almost everyone, I show you guys every reception I have as another one underneath. But I also don't show you, uh, depending on the game, some of the times I'm targeted but don't come up with the ball. But I am being targeted by Russell so much more on third downs, uh, second downs, and, you know, like six, seven as there is another deep throw and I get another touchdown. So I, I carried over into this game. I had a big game in this game as well. But as I was mentioning, he, he looks at me more when we really need a catch, when we really need a play. And I like it. Again, there are times when I mess it up. <laughs> You'll notice if you play wide receiver, sometimes, I don't know, sometimes I just forget to hit triangle because I'm just worried about how I'm going to run. Like, it's the weirdest thing, but <laughs> you look pretty foolish when you get thrown the ball and you don't even make an effort for it. But... Here we go. We're actually down one at this point. As there, I came back for the ball. Again, Russell was able to prolong the play. But we're down one with two minutes left. Uh, I can't remember what the score was before, but uh, I was hoping to get the ball here. I thought I was open there, but instead, Russell Wilson will tuck this one down and go for a huge run. Uh, good on Russell. He's making good decisions after that first quarter. And eventually, we had to settle for a field goal. And look at this cheese. 25 seconds left on the play clock. The regular time is running. Why would we hut that ball and kick it? <laughs> we could have brought the clock down to 25 seconds. Uh, EA, you really got to fix that. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't hurt us. That field goal by Hoshka. 
I was going to say Hosh Money, Stephen Hoshka. Proved to be the winner. Russell Wilson with a big game, 300 yards. Other than those three INTs, he also had two touchdowns. Marshawn Lynch, pretty good, pretty good. And I had eight for 122 and two TDs. So actually, one more reception than the last game against Dallas. But uh, yeah, only 122 yards. So after that game, it moved us to 2-1. Very respectable. And we are matched up against the Cleveland Browns. And I put on our uh, Wolf Gray jerseys. They wore those in real life last week against Carolina. Two weeks ago. Well, whenever it was. Um, and I really liked them. They're pretty cool. So, as you can see, I'm, I'm really m using those spin moves on the kick returns and stuff. They usually work. So, it's kind of, I don't know, interesting. And I included that field goal. Uh, you'll see why at the end of the game. Because that's how we scored. And here we go. Another short yardage play. I was able to actually run with that one. That was nice. Nice little play there. But this Cleveland Brown Stadium is actually really nice. I just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> I hadn't played a game here until this game, and I thought, hmm, I don't mind it. And what a story the Cleveland Browns have been early this year. I guess we're not even early. We're halfway through. There was a decent punt return. Uh, they're 5-3, and three, I believe, at this point in the year, unless I'm completely mistaken, in which case, don't listen to this, but 5-3 and three behind Brian Hoyer, who's putting up good numbers. It seems like he's at a 300 yards, a nice slide and grab. 300 yards, a couple TDs. Uh, he does throw interceptions, but, you know, he's young. But uh, as I'm trying to say, he's putting up good numbers. And it's interesting. So many guys that support uh, Johnny Money Manziel so much, uh, i.e. Skip Bayless, seem to be uh, concerned now. Because the, sh the Browns are having one of their better seasons in a long, long time. A franchise that has been wrought with losing recently. And there's another field goal to put us up 9 nothing. Brian Hoyer seemed to be reviving them. Uh, too bad for Johnny Manziel. It would have been interesting to see what he could do at this level. But he'll definitely get a shot at some point. And there, Wilson... Third and two, he overthrew. I don't know who that was, Curse, whoever, by a mile. So we settle for another field goal. There's 12 nothing. That's all I got to say about the Browns. I hope Johnny gets a shot somewhere eventually. But Brian Hoyer, good looking out, man. You're playing well. And here we go with a minute left in the fourth. This is what the coach calls a throw as we are pinned on our four-yard line. And look at Russell Wilson. Three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Honestly, he had all day to throw the ball, and he takes a safety. Like, throw the ball away. Fortunately, didn't come back to haunt us. We went 12-2. That's such an awful score. But there you see Manziel starting in my connected franchise. Didn't do much. Russell Wilson did absolutely nothing. And yeah, 12-2. What a gross score. Marshawn Lynch, solid. Uh, in terms of how many carries we give him, he, he puts up decent enough numbers. Might get up to 1,000 yards on the season. Um, and I'm not sure why I'm taking so long with these stats, but... I did nothing in this game. That's why it was so quick. Uh, three for 32. Yeah, pretty bad. I mean, 10 uh, yards per catch is uh, respectable, but only three catches. Got to be involved more. That's why we only scored 12 points, folks. Come on, you know. So here we go. Up against division rivals Arizona. Patrick Peterson versus Richard Sherman. Great numbers on the year. And I included that because I wanted to remind everybody about the struggles I've always had against Arizona in this series uh, with uh, Patrick Peterson on one side and... Is it Dominique Rogers cromartie on the other one? Yeah, th those are their two shutdown corners. So I thought this was going to be a tough game coming in, but hey, couldn't be much worse than how he played against Cleveland. And we're testing him deep early. And it is Jermaine Curse, I believe, that Russell Wilson hit almost to a touchdown, but not quite. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had to clear my throat there. But uh, Arizona, another great story. They're 7-1. and one. Uh, The division, the... NFC West is what I'm trying to say. The NFC West division is shaping up quite interestingly. It's interestingly as there, I get try going deep again. It gets knocked away, nothing. But the Cardinals seven and one seem to be running away with it. Uh, Seattle, I think the Hawks could still finish twelve and four. I mean, three early losses, but they seem to be picking it up. So it'll be a dogfight between those two teams. As there it is, it was only a matter of time before we got picked off against this Cardinal secondary. But uh, the Cardinals and Seahawks still play twice to the season. So that could be a telltale sign of how the division will finish as that's near the end of the year. And this is a great punt return. But the 49ers lost to the Rams this week. And the 49ers, they're just, eh, I don't know. <laughs> I know they're missing guys still, but uh, on their defensive end, or uh, their defensive side of their ball especially, but still, they should be playing better. Is there's Christine Michael, or is it Kristen Michael? I never know, but he's catching a touchdown for us. So we go up 17-10. But the Rams are playing spoiler for a lot of teams right there. And they get targeted again. Can't come up with it. So I think at this point I'm still without a reception. Um, 
Yeah, it's weird. 440 left in the fourth quarter, and there it is. Uh, <laughs> this time I held on to it. That was eerily similar to the last play. Down to the three. It makes me watch this play for some reason, even though I'm not out there. And Russell will wait. He'll wait. He'll and he'll run. Yes, he will. Good play, Russell Wilson. We go up by 14 on that play in our uh, breast cancer awareness pink. And Arizona scored another touchdown to bring it in closer. So I thought, you know what? Time to pad the stats. I finally get another reception there. Down to the two-minute warning. And we actually ended up having to punt the ball. And look at our defense. W what are you doing out there, you goofs? Down to three seconds left. Arizona is able to tie the game. And just like that, our hopes of going to four and one. Yeah, four and one of the season look to be in doubt. Uh, we did win the toss, fortunately. And look at all the room I got on this kick return. I spin. I break a tackle. Well, I started to spin anyways, and I broke the tackle. So good return. Put us in decent position. And I make a catch here. Uh, it's so derpy on the controls when you catch near the sidelines. It's hard to turn. I guess it is in real life, too, if you have all the momentum. But either way, we were forced to punt. And now look at our defense. Two plays, and we get the ball back. Unreal. Clutch stop by those guys. So we're already in field goal position. I decided to call a pass play just because I wanted another reception, and I was confident in my abilities. Here it is, and oh my goodness, that was a one-handed grab. So that's it. They don't have the updated uh, overtime rules, I guess, in the game as we score a field goal. Actually, maybe that is. After the first possession for each team, you can hit a field goal for the win. I, I can't remember, but either way, we win 27-24. Division rival matchup improved to... 4-1, I believe, on the season. I think that's what it is. Either way, a great start for us. We're picking up steam. Russell Wilson, pretty good game. Uh, myself, I had a pretty average game, you'll see. But, yeah, guys, thanks for supporting this wide receiver series. I said I wanted to bring out more of them. I think I am a little bit more. Uh, and I'll try even more. I just said more like 25 times. But either way, like the video if you like the video. Comment any thoughts you have for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more, guys. It's always going to be coming. Thanks a lot.